So this story is from our legal department, and it has to do with illegal immigration. And there's your headline. This is from the Libertarian Republic. Alternative sentencing of illegal immigrants creates unequal justice system, says experts. So we'll get to the, the key part here. Brooklyn and Baltimore prosecutors have instructed staff to consider alternative offenses and sentence modifications for illegal immigrants to protect them from possible deportation. Acting Brooklyn District Attorney Eric Gonzalez said in a statement that his new policy aims to prevent collateral consequences of convictions for illegal immigrants. In other words, they don't want to set off any triggers that will bring in federal operatives to ensure that these quote-unquote illegal immigrants are deported. Gonzalez instructed his assistants to consider alternative offenses the defendant can plead to as well as reasonable modifications to the sentence modifications. The alternative offense uh, should be similar in level and length of sentence to that offered to a citizen defendant, but the charge may be different, Gonzalez said. For example, a plea to a misdemeanor trespass may be offered when appropriate instead of a misdemeanor drug offense, he said. And then you have Art Arthur, who's a resident fellow in law and policy for Center and Immigration Studies, who said, and I'll highlight this section here, essentially it creates two sets of rules, one for those who are here illegally and one for those who are not. I believe that's just wrong. A guiding principle of this country is that there is equal justice under the law. In essence, this sets up an unequal justice system. Well, first, first of all, a rule of law is a myth. There is no rule of law. There's only rule of power. Power is the only rate of exchange between two entities that do not share voluntarily the same standards. But be that as it may, let's just play devil's advocate and operate within the rule of law parameter. What you have is the federal government, which is aggressively going after people that are being called illegal immigrants. <laughs> I, the, the, the idea of putting a term illegal on a human being just seems really, really strange to me. And you have these so-called sanctuary cities that are trying not to gather people up and deport them. And to do that, they have to go to extra legal lengths to try to protect the quote-unquote illegal aliens. Now, I'm going to tell you that if you are on the side of not having people deported because they didn't come to the, you know, they didn't, they didn't cross a magical line in the, in the proper way, then you probably shouldn't be for what they're doing. Uh, because they're going to create even more animosity towards these quote-unquote illegal aliens. No matter what you tell them, if you could show them, no, no, they're pretty much getting the same type of punishment. Well, not, not really. They're not going to, I mean, they may get initially the same type of punishment, but they're not going to have the same stuff on their record. It's it's, I mean, a, a trespass charge. You get so many trespass charges, and that doesn't set off a chain of events. You get so many drug charges, and that sets off a chain of events that leads to extra sentencing that has to do with the amount of drug charges that you have. Be that as it may, the perception, you're not going to be able to avoid it, that there is, just like this guy said, Special rules, special privileges for quote-unquote illegal aliens. Yeah, your help for these folks is going to do them 
much more harm than good in the long run.